<laughs> hey, all you cats and kittens. Carol Baskin here. Looking like a hot mess, but that's okay. We're about to be beautiful. What's going on, guys? I feel like an emotionally abusive boyfriend at this point, dangling a little bit of hope in front of your eyes that I might get my crap together for this YouTube channel. But uh, I just don't think it's gonna happen. It's really best if we uh, see other people. That being said, it's quarantine. I have literally no excuse. And everyone keeps asking me, not everyone, girls keep asking me to do a makeup video. I thought I had done one. I'm really sorry. I forgot I had filmed it, but I was also doing a, a Q and A. Like it was a, a double feature. And um, it got way too long, so I just, anyway. So the one I do have on my channel is only eyebrows. So, sorry, here we go. I'm gonna show you how I do my face. I've got nothing on right now except for like, my moisturizing mystical mist stuff. Okay, full disclaimer, I'm not a beauty guru. Like literally. Okay, so here's all my makeup brushes. Yeah, tweezers, all that kind of good stuff. Oh, my eyelash. <laughs> and then there's, there's also some more eyelashes on top of this is like, my whole cabinet of makeup. So the first thing you're gonna need is a primer. Focused. Oh, that looks focused. Is that focused? I am cheap. Not really. At least I'm cheap with my makeup. I cannot spend money on makeup or myself, really. So all the stuff that you see in this video, you can get it at Walmart or Target or Amazon. I'm gonna use my little hand candy mirror so I can do this for you. But what I'm gonna start out with, uh, I start with my eyebrows. For the love of God, people, please don't attack me in my comments like, you're doing it wrong, you should do this instead. I've been my makeup since I was like 12 years old. You know, back when it was like the blue eyeshadow and then like the inch thick eyeliner because you can never freaking get it right. Anyway, so just a little bit of primer and I'm gonna put it on my eyebrows. Next step I'm gonna do is apply this uh, uh, concealer, whatever, foundation, what the hell, stuffs. Come on, Beezy. Is it? There we go. Okay, here's my prime, not primer, foundation. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. Now we're gonna use our beauty blender, our wet beauty blender. Well, it's not really wet, it's damp. <laughs> He all thought I was gonna say the M word. Seriously, why does that bother people though? And now we can go over the eyebrows again. Now. Now, here comes the longest and most difficult part. Hey, that's what she said. And that's gonna be my eyebrows, obviously. Oh! Oh! Focused! Okay, so this is my eyebrow gel that I use, and this is my little brushy brush. The thing about this stuff is it's really difficult to put on because it comes out super thick. That's what she said. That's my joke. So you just want like a teeny tiny bit at a time, and you're gonna see me continuing to keep the brush super clean because if it starts to get caked on there, it's gonna mess it up. And I like to start from the underside. Now what I like to do is get a little bit just on the tip. That's what she said. And create little standy uppy hairs in the front because it makes it look more natural. Now I'm gonna go in and all I'm doing y'all is following like where my little natural hairs are. The unfortunate thing is there's just not that many of them. Once I have a good general shape, I'm just gonna continue now to fill it in, maybe make it a little bit thicker if I want to, and then, you know, do one to the other side as you would have done with the other.
right, so one last tip that I do want to say about the eyebrows is that if you didn't notice, I kind of like don't go past this point with long strokes. I do a little upward strokes because I feel like if you fill it in all the way to the front, that's when it starts to look like 2016 Sarah. And that's just not a good look. Once we're done, always remember they're sisters, not twins. Now I'm gonna lock them in with some powder. Please don't judge me. I dropped it, so it's now being held together by a hair tie. This is my powder that I use. Then my little handy dandy brush. Now, most important, don't do the tail. That's how it's gonna get all thick and messy. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're just gonna go over the main parts. Now. With this, I am gonna take like one side, put all the stuff over here, and I have just a teeny tiny bit of powder. Now I'm gonna go more towards the front. But I'm upward stroking, people. Upward stroking. Next, <laughs> you thought we were done, didn't you? We're gonna lock in our little hairs with this gel. And we're just gonna apply it to our little eyebrow hairs. Boom! But we're not done yet. Now, we're gonna go in with concealer and clean up the underbrow a little bit slash highlight. I know you should probably do this at the end of your highlight or the end, the end of your makeup routine with the rest of your highlight, but I don't, and that's how I like to do it. So this is the ELF or ELF. Concealer. I really like it. Like, I really like it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out, and then I'm gonna use this flat brush. Flat brush. Get a tiny, like seriously, like, mm, a little bit, y'all, goes a long way for this crap. I just want, like, like, literally look at this. I just want a teeny bit. Just a little bit. Right on the tip. That's what she said. And I'm just gonna line the underside. Now I'm just gonna use the brush to kind of pull it down to blend it. done with our eyebrows and it's time to move on to our eye lids. Again I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender, my moist, sorry, my wet beauty blender, my damp beauty blender, and my concealer foundation. Foundation that's what we're going for. Just a little bit and I'm gonna dab it all over my eyelids. Next we have the liquid eyeliner. Be careful. Obviously, by the way, if you can't tell already, I don't usually do eyeshadow. Again, sisters, not twins. I'm going to go through with mascara just a little bit. This is the one expensive product that I own. I don't know it's having our time focusing, but it's their real. I benefit. So just enough to make sure that my eyelashes are black so they match my fake eyelashes. So I apologize in advance. Um, I cannot tell you what kind of lashes these are because I no longer have the box. But you go to my Instagram page and you look at my highlights, there's one that says makeup. And it's got both the lashes I like to use. Not only shown, but I have the Amazon link linked. So all I have to do if you want them to swipe up. Lashes are tricky, but I've learned a couple tricks. One, you don't take your lash and you don't apply your glue. Then you go and wait for that glue to get nice and tacky. Okay, now when you're ready, the tick, the tick, 
the trick that I've learned is to, especially if you have a mirror like this, is to be able to look down as you're doing it. So I know I don't use a tool. I know I'm doing this wrong. I like to take both ends. I'm sure beauty gurus everywhere like, <gasps> and oh, I need to zoom me inside. It also helps if you have the zoom mirror, a magnifying mirror. And we go and place one corner here and the other one there. Boom. And now I'm just gonna continue to push in place as the glue dries. And now I'm gonna take my tweezers if I need to adjust it all. And now I'm gonna use a pinchy thingy, which somebody actually gave me a good idea about using a curl, a curl, a lash curler, and I need to go get one though so I can try it. But until then, I have this the applicator thing, and I go through and pinch my lashes through the lashes. And then I just leave them alone for a little bit until I know the glue's dry. So once I know those are good and dry and on there, I like to go back through with my eyelash comb and just comb through the base to kind of blend my lashes into the fake lashes. Now that all the hard, uh, longer parts are over, that's what she said. It's time to do the face. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and my foundation, and we're gonna apply it everywhere. And now, it's time for highlight. So again, this stuff goes a long way, so just use a little bit. sufficient job there which it looks better in my mirror than it does on my camera I'm going to grab my flat brush again this time we're going to be using cream liquid mousse stuff and I'm gonna use it as my contour and I'm gonna start with my nose to make it look like an exclamation mark. Now instead of using my beauty blender, I'm just gonna use my brush here. And I'm going to like, just dab it like I would have bleed. You know what I mean? course I'm going to go in with this wispier like blending brush and now we're gonna like make blending swirly patterns to add in my cheekbone contour and forehead. I'm gonna go back in with my flat brush and I'm gonna start at like the top of whatever the hell this part of your ear is called.
now, after everything is blended, I go back in with a fluffy brush and I blend everything just one more good time. Once I feel like everything is as smooth as it's going to get, which in my case, for my face, is usually not very smooth, I am going to go in with my, my highlighter shimmery stuffs. This is the Wet n Wild, and I'm so lit. Probably my favorite powder highlighter that I've ever had. And I just pour a little bit into the cap, and I have my highlighter brush and instead of dipping it like this I pat one side of it I pixie dust come from underneath in a sweeping motion to and also come up a little bit above my eyebrow and I go back in with this smaller brush that I used to contour or just any brush really um, that's small and go underneath my brow and go down the bridge of my nose and on the tip and if I feel in a little extra Cupid's bow last we're just gonna go in with a little bit of chapstick whatever doesn't matter when you're crying you want to be extra you need some lipstick lord knows i have plenty of those and voila that is how i do my full face of makeup for really like um anything uh the only time i ever do eyeshadow is like if i'm going out at night but this is what i consider soft glam i hope you guys enjoyed it at the very least at least you know some good products that i like that work that you can get at Walmart or Target. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit inspired though by Glamming Gore, so maybe I should do a little montage exit. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And sorry, but I am not guaranteeing that I will ever post on YouTube ever again, but hopefully I will. Love you. Bye.